Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of acquiring the Unreal Engine 4 source code, uh, getting it set up through GitHub, and then getting that built and getting the editor running. A quick word though, I am making a few assumptions. There are some things you're going to need to take care of before you actually start trying to follow along with this video. The first is that you have subscribed to Unreal Engine 4 and that you have a current account. Uh, the next is that you've also created an account on the GitHub website. So if you haven't done that, make sure that that is out of the way and that you have a username. Also, make sure that you have installed the GitHub client. It's very easy to find. You can get it at uh, windows.github.com or I believe it's also mac.github.com. So there's a Mac version as well. We are going to be using the official uh, GitHub client. There are several other clients out there. If you'd like to use one of those, that's entirely your call. Also, make sure that you have installed Visual Studio 2013. If you want to use the free express version, that is completely fine for our purposes. So make sure you have all four of these things done before you try to follow along with this video. OK, so for starters, the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at GitHub. Once you have signed up, this is what your GitHub uh, area is going to look like. You have no repositories. Uh, it's kind of a, a blank account. Also, I'm going to jump over to the Unreal, uh, Unreal Editor website dashboard, and I'm going to jump into my account. And there is a line here in your account where it says, update your GitHub account. This is where you're going to put your GitHub username, uh, mine being Epic Zach Parrish. Save changes as soon as you do that. So just punch in your GitHub username and save your changes. Then you can jump back over to GitHub, and if you refresh the page, you'll see that you have now joined the Epic Games organization, which is super cool and convenient. So now let's take a look uh, at Epic Games organization. Here you'll see the Unreal Engine. Now, it's probably going to be important for you to read all of this text here. It will be very useful to you. And it may update and change as uh, the engine continues to evolve. So make sure you uh, stay abreast of any changes here in this area. But we're going to jump over to the official releases page. And there is a step-by-step -step process for getting everything going. Of course, we're just following along with this video, so you should be OK. Next, you need to download all of the required zip files located at the bottom of this page. Over time, the number and size of these zip files might change. Just be aware of that. Now, in my case, I already have these downloaded. So if I bring my window over, there's all three of them. It will take a moment. So if you need to, go ahead, pause the video, and get those in place. OK, once you have done that, you need to create a fork of Unreal Engine 4. So if you come over here to the fork button, and it's going to ask you where you'd like to fork this repository, fork that into your own private space. And that'll refresh here in just a little bit. And voila, we have our very own fork of the branch, uh, which is very useful. Now, at this point, we need to make a local clone of this onto our drive. Now, as a, a quick point of reference. You'll notice that I am uh, right now in branch 4.0. Uh, do make sure you keep in, uh, on top of what branch you're currently looking at. Generally, you're going to want to use the, uh, the numbered branch that is the most current. So now that we have that, let's jump over to the GitHub client. Now, I'm not currently logged into the client, so I'm just going to click the Login button and get myself logged in. There we go. And it sees uh, my current memberships and so forth. I'm going to jump into my space, and you'll see my fork of the Unreal Engine. I'm going to right click on this and choose Clone 2 and choose a location. Alternatively, make sure that you at least know that you can jump into the Tools section and change the default directory for it to download into. But that's entirely your call. I'm fine with just choosing Clone 2. Now, I'm sticking these on a different uh, actual drive. So let me just go to D colon GitHub. And this is where I'll be placing this. And the video is going to go dark here. And when we come back, we will have uh, the engine cloned off. OK, so we're back. And now the engine has been cloned into that location on my computer. So let's go ahead and take a look at that location. So now you'll see Unreal Engine. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now we get to the point where we add in those required zip files. So over here on 
the right hand side, I'll just open up the first one. I'll take the contents and just copy them straight in. Any windows that may pop up asking if you want to merge, you can always just say yes to. Okay, now that that is done, we'll bring in the second required zip file. Again, I'll just grab all the contents, copy them straight over, and click yes to any prompts that pop up. Okay, so that's the second one. Let's go ahead and bring in the third one. And this one, at this time, goes pretty fast. So now that we have all of our required files added, the next thing we need to do is generate our project files, which will give us our Visual Studio solution. So I'll just double click the Generate Project Files batch and give that just a moment to execute. And as soon as that's done, you'll see that we have a UE4 solution file that we can use. So now, let's just jump over to Visual Studio. I will open a project, navigate over to my folder, All right. Now, there is one thing we can do to make our uh, Visual Studio experience just a little bit nicer, and that's to change around the toolbar up here at the top. So I'm going to make some really quick changes. I'm going to right-click on the toolbar and choose Customize. We'll go to Commands, under the Toolbar, Radio Bar. I'll hit the drop-down and scroll down to the Standard Toolbar. Grab Solution Configurations and click Modify Selection and set the width to about 200 pixels. You see now you can see the entire development editor there. We can go ahead and click Close now. At the end of the toolbar, there's a little drop down for adding and removing buttons. So if you mouse over that, you also want to add solution platforms. Basically, you're just verifying that this says Development Editor and Win64, which is the platform that I'm going to be building for. Now at this point, we're ready to build. So I'm just going to move over here to the Solution Explorer, right click on UE4, and choose Build. Now, the build process is going to take a little bit of time, anywhere from uh, 15 minutes to significantly longer. It just depends on, uh, on your actual hardware. So what's going to happen now is the video is going to go dark. And when it comes back up, our build will be complete. OK, we are back. And we have finished our build. Notice it says that it's succeeded. So now I'm simply going to go into my folder, jump into Engine, Binaries, Win64, which is the platform I was building for, and scroll down until I see UE4 Editor and launch that. And there's our splash screen. We'll give that just a second to load up. And this takes us right to the project browser, which on my end, of course, I've got a few different projects from uh, earlier versions of the engine that it has detected. I'm going to jump over to New Project, choose Blank. I'll go ahead and uh, click the Copy Starter Content into New Project checkbox and click Create. And here we are inside the Unreal Editor that we actually built from the source code. So that is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.